Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 47 in chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. Now we consider a concert hall. The volume is given at zero. And we can assume the pressure as 1 atm and the temperature as room temperature 20 centigrade convert the unit to the kelvins. And inside is this concert hall. We can see we have 1,800 people, right? These people will produce the heat. Um, produce the heat flows into the air. And the, for each person, the power is about 70 watt. And then it takes two hours. Now question, ask you how much would the temperature increase in the air? So in this case, we can see we consider this a concert hall as the volume changes, no, right? So the work equal to P times the delta V. Delta V equals zero, so no work is being done. And it also tells us there is no ventilation, so that means no heat flows in or flows out, agree? That means the internal energy changes for the air just come from the energy, the heat transferred from this person, agree? So that means if we write the internal energy change equal to Q minus the work Q minus W, so W is zero, we talk about no work has been done. This heat just come from people, right? Yes. Now we can consider, do can we con calculate this uh, Q? Yes. By definition, this is a 1,800 person. For each person, it produces a, how much power? 70 watt. And how much time it taken? Seven, two hours equal to 7,200 seconds. In this way, we can define the heat flows in the air by the person. Agree? Yes. Now we find the internal energy changes for the air. Can we calculate the temperature changes? Yes, because we have another equation for internal energy changes equal to N times CV delta T. See, delta T is the temperature changes, right? Now we can see N is the number of molecules, so molecule numbers. CV is a molecule specific heat for the air. You check your test book, you can find it in there. 5R divided by 2. Now, can you decide N? We just know P, we just know V, we just know T. Can you decide N? Yes. We can consider the ideal gas law, PV equal to NTR. Therefore, we can find this N equal to PV over TR, right? Now you can see we input N inside as PV divided by TR and CV as 5R over 2 and times dirty equal to Q, right? Q is given at zero. So this function can be simplified as this one. Now can you find dirty? Sure, so simple. So we convert this equation. We can get a function for dirty as 2T. Q divided by 5PV and then input all the known quantity. Get the answer there. Thank you.